Alright, do we have a problem right off the bat, guys? Look at that. There's no way that's supposed to look like that. Hey, welcome to the channel. I'm Sean with Emerald Coast Digitizing. I digitize home movies here in Pensacola, Florida. All types of camcorder, tapes, and films are all done in-house, and I show you the behind the scenes of the business. If you need someone to do this for you, check out my website, EmeraldCoastDigitizing.com. Let's get on with the video. Today, I am working again. New video, gonna work on these tapes today. Got all the players cleaned. Everything's super clean. This is kind of the aftermath of cleaning all the players after that last job. I mean, those tapes were just filthy. Yep, so that's kind of what you're having to deal with after each job or before each job, you really should be cleaning up everything. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got a customer about to come in, but let's try to get this video started. I've already rewound all the tapes. This is a local police officer brought these in. And he seems like he's gonna be real helpful. He uh, already called me back and said he has um, a few more people that wanna get their stuff done. And he said once, he, once I'm finished with his, he'll bring theirs in with him so when he picks these up. So it's gonna be in my best interest to go ahead and fast track his order because it'll bring more business into the store. I do have one order that should be in front of him, but I called them and they said they're not in a huge hurry, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock his out just to get some more orders in the store. It's been a good week so far. It's been really beautiful here in Florida. Nice sunshiny day. I got another customer that's supposed to show up a little bit later today and I'm supposed to help him with some editing. I'm not uh, really keen on editing customers files for them because I don't really know how to charge them. I, I typically want to charge like $60 for an hour of editing at least. Bad I feel bad because customers don't realize that that's not part of the process. I mean, I usually try to show customers how to do a little editing. All right, do we have a problem right off the bat, guys? Look at that. There's no way that's supposed to look like that. First tape, this is gonna be our oldest tape here. We got everything clean, so. Well, I guess that isn't a customer for me. He must be getting a haircut. It's playing a little better on this top one. Film transfer. I just don't know. I don't know about that. There's a chance this tape just immediately dirtied up the heads in the VCR. It's got a little bit of uh, issue with it, if you can see there. So we'll go ahead and get a copy on it, and then we'll go back and try to work with it. I just don't like the way it's coming through on this player. So we're going to move this over, come back to it a little later because we already know it's an issue. Let's see if this one will play. So this is all recorded over from recorded TV. This whole thing was recorded in extended play. So as far as extended play goes, that looks pretty good. Oh man. I've got about two weeks worth of work on the bench right now that I got to get into. I'm just starting this one, so this one's gonna take some time. I can tell it's gonna be a little bit of a bear because of just the way they recorded it right away. I can already see. 
you know. These are all, looks like they were transferred to VHS back in the day by another company called uh, Video Ventures. And, you know, I'm not sure what they did or how they did it, but it doesn't look great. I mean, look at that. That shouldn't be playing like that. It's like a film transfer and it looks really bad. Try a different player. First thing you do is try a different player. Doesn't look very good. Uh, I'm gonna end up trying this on every player. No sound. That does look a little better. The second tape going yet a bit to the end too I guess Let's see what we can do I do think of, I'll do a fast forward and rewind on these all these tapes were already rewound when they came in so we will on this one and this one we'll fast forward and rewind them to the end and see if that can see anything working any better sometimes it does 1998 Escapee These are probably some pretty interesting videos to watch. This looks like a really short one here. It's probably an extended play as well. But I can't I can't be watching all this guy's stuff. Nighttime for law enforcement. Oh, that looks pretty good. Finally. We'll go back. All right, I don't know what these things are about, but must be people he uh, was working on catching. <laughs> That's funny. Hey Ross, who's the daddy? A preview for the next episode of Friends. I love that. Alright, so we're moving right along. This first few tapes are going to get some trouble, but so far so good on these. Get that back around. Saturday Night Live. Squeaky man, squeaky. Yes. Mr. Trump? Yes. Mrs. Trump is here to see you. Send her in.
thing's loud. There it goes. Uh, still got that line at the bottom. Should work its way out. Okay, and it's gone. Looking good. The Sharp's got good auto tracking, but it uh, doesn't burn in the tracking information. It looks okay to me. Alright, let's do this one. Alright, so this tape was fairly short, so it's already ended. That was a short one. Mom's 80th birthday, 1995. 80th birthday back in 1995. Okay, that's pretty good. Rewind that one. This one's round. I think I might put this through the cleaner as well. Do these at the end. See, so moving right along. That one seems like maybe it's almost done or something. Alright, so that one's. Now that one's got recorded TV on it. I'm just gonna let them all go through. He's got some short tapes. JC Penny commercial. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we got. Alright, that's working good. The last one I can get going for now. I have more computers I could do more of these right now I'm only doing nine at a time and I do have the option to do more at least two or three more but nine seems to be the magic number for me and maybe I'll do more but I like to have free computers I'm gonna do an edit a video and I want to have a computer free for transferring stuff to hard drives and it's getting kind of late in the day already, so I'm not really too worried about switching tapes out. I'm just going to be doing these first nine or ten, if you count that first one that was short. And then uh, that'll be it for today. Bars, the US so we got this person all ready to go. I'm just going to go ahead and look at their hard drives by clicking Get Info, and then I want to make sure they're exactly the same. 24.93 gigabytes, 24.93 gigabytes. I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick look. Make sure they're right. 17 tapes. Everything nice and organized. There was no labels on any, any of these tapes. I went ahead and labeled them all out for her based on what I could see. So she is good to go. But yeah, she already picked up the rest of her tapes. This was just one tape she added to it. Ugh. I still need to work on these cameras, guys. I've been so busy, I haven't even been able to pull these cameras out. And I think this Elgato has gone bad, so I'm going to take a look at that as well. But yeah, we're moving right along. Everything is copying okay. This one has gone black on me. We'll let that just keep going for a second. Oh, let's see, actually. Click eject. Just check, make sure everything's okay with it. Ah, just a short tape. So we'll just uh, fast forward to the end just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Get 
2005. March of the Penguins. Narrated by Morgan Freeman. I didn't know that. Commercials, yo. So I guess since this tape ended early, within the first five minutes, we'll go ahead and put another one in. And so I say I'm gonna do one thing and then I'll do another. A lot of this stuff has recorded TV on it. Um, I asked him about it. He said he wanted to keep a lot of the recorded TV stuff. So I'm just not gonna mess with any of it. I'm just gonna copy his whole tapes. And I told him, like, hey, you know, if I copy the whole tape, I gotta charge you for the whole tape. And he said, that's fine. So he understands, but he's not 100% sure, like, what every tape has on it. So he just wants to go through the whole tape himself. Because he, he recorded a lot of TV with him as a police officer. He, uh, he kind of wanted to archive his appearances on TV when he was a police officer. So. It's kind of cool. I get it. I'd probably do the same. This looks like some 9 11 stuff. NYC Heroes. And this customer knows I make videos. I won't show all of his stuff, but he knows I make videos. Every customer videos that I show on this channel knows that. Bits and pieces of their footage are gonna show up. We got Wayne's World coming in on this one. Just a TV extended play recording of Wayne's World. So we're gonna make, we're making quick work of this. We uh, finish these today, finish these tomorrow, then that job will be done, and then I can move on to the next one. Maybe the South Tree one from the last video. The last video I had order brought in from South Tree that they wouldn't transfer for them. Um, some mold, some stuff. They tried the transfer and it had sticky shed. So they tore their tapes up and I'm gonna have to recover them for them. But uh, other than that, things are going good at the shop, guys. Thanks for watching these videos. Uh, like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you wanna chat and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.